Well, it's another nice Alaskan winter day. I just pulled the 71 Ford out of the shop a little bit ago and went and drove it around some. Now, if you watch my latest video, you'll know I had the truck in there to make some carburetor changes and adjustments, and that went well. Everything works great. Really happy with the changes. It cold starts a lot better and so on and so forth. So that's something else taken care of. Now, I've got a bunch more upcoming work happen into this truck including a full brake job and uh, some other things so I'll be sure to make videos on that since she doesn't get much screen time and I'm sure you guys will like to see the work as well but she's going to be sitting outside for a couple days we got another project that's going to get pushed in there something that has to be taken care of here in the near future so we might as well just knock it out that's the way it goes sometimes just do the shuffle with vehicles now and then but like i said should only take a couple days and then we can get the ford back in anyways might as well show you how she starts up now got the idle pretty low right now but she's not too bad It's got a comp cam in it, so she's got a little bit of a lope to it. Sounds pretty good. So yeah, she's running good, really happy with it. Now, in case you're wondering what project's going inside, it's nothing too exciting, but I got this Dodge Cummins sitting here. It's a buddy's truck and uh turns out it had contaminated fuel and when the cold weather hit it kind of gelled up and had a bunch of water and froze up and so on and so forth so we're gonna shove it inside get it thawed out probably rip some planks off the flatbed and get into the fuel tank either rip the fuel tank out or just get into the top and suck it out clean it out and then she should be on her way I don't even remember what year this thing is, but it's a it's a 6.7 Cummins 24 valve, not the 5.9 24 valve automatic. But a pretty decent truck, not too bad. So we're going to get that thing shoved inside, start working on it. Probably won't make any videos on it, but you never know. I could surprise you. Might slip some camera work in there time and time again, but... We'll see. But for now, get the Ford parked out of the way and clean up the shop so that Dodge can go in there. But before we do all that, I've got a little goodie box here. And we'll take it in the shop and unbox it, even though I kind of peeked at it a little bit already. These, uh, these guys sent me something to try out. So let's take it in the shop and have a look. We're in the shop where it's nice and warm. It's an absolute scattered mess in here right now, but I guess that just means it's a productive shop, right? Anyways, got the box in here. Now the folks over at Aurora Heated Apparel sent me an email a couple weeks back and they were like, hey, would you be interested in trying one of our heated jackets? We've watched some of your videos and it looks like you deal with the cold a lot. So we'd be willing to send you one. So I wrote him back and said, yeah, I'm certainly in the right environment. I'd give one a try. So they sent me one. Pretty excited to try it out here. I did kind of have a peek in here and look at it a little bit. But we'll get set up on the camera where I can actually function with two hands here. And we'll have a look at it. So we got the jacket here. I did try it on already. It fits great really like the material it's made out of it feels like it's good quality it's got a hood on it set that there for a minute hopefully i don't get it too trashed on the parts cleaner here take a look at everything else they give you a nice carry bag with it we got all their aurora logos on it looks pretty cool nice bag and then this must be the battery and it says battery on it, duh, who'd have thought that? And battery charger. So these guys are 
producing uh, heated apparel. I think they got gloves and all kinds of stuff, but the jackets seem pretty sweet. So I'll uh, rip open that user guide, see if I'm smart enough to operate this thing. And we'll see if the battery's charged up or not. And if it's not, we'll charge it up before we go test it so it works fully. And we can give these guys a good review. Got the rest of the stuff unboxed here. Nice charger with a fold-up connection on it. And the battery, not very heavy. Nice smooth design, compact. And it's got this button. You can check the battery life. So she's one bar down. We'll go ahead and plug it in and get that back up. But something cool about this, not only will it power your jacket and keep you warm, but if you got to charge like your phone or your GoPro or something while you're outside, you can just plug the USB into that and charge your phone. So, you know, that's pretty sweet. So we'll get this thing plugged in and charged up, and then we'll go try this thing out. All right, been doing some shop cleaning. Gave the battery time to charge and she's full now. So we'll get the jacket back out. And see right here, look for this inner pocket. There's the wire for it. And we'll plug it in. Set that back in there. Still need to get these tags off real quick. Remember, the wrong tool for the job is always the right tool. So we'll get this thing on. So when I'm outside messing around, I usually got a hoodie on and then this black Carhartt jacket. It's pretty heavyweight and seems to be rugged enough. That's what most people wear up here. So it'll probably feel weird without it, but we'll throw this one on. Of course, I'm going to be double hooding it, but oh well. You feel the battery flop around a little bit in there, but it's not too bad. Now this is a medium for me, but it feels good. Plenty of movement and whatnot. It could be a little bit longer just to keep the snow out of your pockets, but I mean, I ain't complaining. It's a nice jacket. Now, the button to control it is right here. Now you hold it, and that's on, and that's maximum heat mode. And you press it again, and that changes it to medium, and that's low, and then that's high again. Then when you want it off, you hold it. Now it's off. So we'll turn her on to maximum because we're going to full send it. And uh, this hood thing can just kind of chill out. I don't think I need the hood on. But we're going to go clean that Dodge off and see how this thing does. Well, it's like zero out. We're getting her cleaned off. Jacket's putting out heat, so I'd say that's working good. Getting ready to push her out of the hole here. There we go, she's in here. Can thaw out and get all melted off, even though I got no drains in here. Still better than being outside. The jacket is still on, keeping me warm. I like it so far. Thing's awesome. And it's like half the weight of my Carhartt. So that's pretty sweet. I got some part hunting to do out back. So we'll test it some more when I go out there and retrieve a couple parts. Whoa, with the whole truck thing squared away for now, I'll venture out back and grab something I need off of one of the parts trucks. Gonna have to do a little bit of digging, but not too bad, I don't think. While the loader was here, I borrowed it and pushed back the snow, so got plenty more room again just being prepared in case we get a bunch more hopefully not but you never know we're still rocking the jacket on high setting there Aurora says on their 
videos and whatnot that I watched that their battery life is good for up to 10 hours. So that's pretty sweet. Still need to get back here and clean all the rest of the rigs off. I got a couple, but it's a struggle with this much snow. You know it's deep when it's almost over the Lodestar tires. And you know it's deep when it's actually over CCKW tires. But anyways, our target is the 1972 Ford F-250 parts rig here. And we just need to clean off the motor a little bit. What's left of the motor. Yeah, she's a little buried. Hey look, you can see a water pump. All right, that's good enough. What I'm after is that heater hose Y fitting right there. Most of these parts outfits, they want to sell you plastic ones now. And I remembered this truck had a, a uh, must be aluminum or something, but better than plastic. So we're just going to retrieve it real quick here. Gotta love these hose cutters. A lot better than struggling with something else. Go. There's even coolant left in it. Look at that. There we go. Seems to be in decent shape. We'll clean that up and probably paint it before I use it. There, mission success. Gotta love having a parts store in your backyard, even though it's kind of Kind of an inconvenient thing in the middle of winter, but we make it work. Just a lot of snow. Okay, back in the shop warming up now. The Dodge is melting off pretty good already, which is good. Then we can get this thing taken care of and get it out down the road again and get the fun stuff back in. We'll kind of take a break from the, the cold starts and the rally around through the snow videos and actually do some mechanical fix-it work. Gotta mix it up every now and then, keep a good variety. At least I try to, and uh, people seem to like it that way, so we're gonna keep with that theory. Anyways, before we sign off here, just wanted to give a big thank you out to Aurora Heated Apparel for reaching out and sending me this heated jacket. I really like it so far. It's uh, definitely a cool concept and it's neat to see the technology like this coming out and coming into play in you know, realistic situations because the cold is miserable. Anything you do out in the winter time, it's just miserable and you're, you don't wanna be a part of it. You wanna get it back inside and be warm. So, you know, very thoughtful of them to start doing something like this, so. Be sure to go check them out. There's their website. I'll put it down in the description below as well. But yeah, go check them out. Order up some stuff. Give them some good business because they seem like a good brand. Well, until we can get the old 71 Ford back in here and continue wrenching on it and making progress. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. Just kind of a little bit to show what goes on around here off camera. We got a paying job in the shop now, so we'll get this thing knocked out. And we'll go back to personal projects. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.